Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the 2021 Ford Ranger. We're adding every option available by the manufacturer to find out if it's worth it. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up, like, go ahead and uh, subscribe. I'll be using a random zip code for the build. Uh, please uh, drop yours in the comment section for my next video. Alright, the 2021 Ford Ranger. So in a world of, uh, you know, big, super big luxury trucks, uh, there's also a market for something a little bit smaller. Maybe this is a work truck. Maybe this is something that you'll daily. Um, so it's it it fits in that that middle section where you you know you don't need something that big that grand. Um, but we're gonna get in here and we're gonna see uh, what they've done with this and uh, price points, what they offer, so on and so forth. So here we go, twenty twenty one Ford Ranger. So it comes in at around twenty five. Um, there's there's different uh, models that they offer here, uh, with the top tier being uh, uh, Lariat. Um, so, you know why why would somebody why would somebody get something like this um, when there's bigger, you know, luxury, so on and so forth. I, I I would only I guess it would just depend on what you're trying to do. Um, maybe you just don't need that much truck. <laughs> So, I mean, this, I mean, again, this is kind of the mid-tier version, but I, th I think in Ford's case, uh, this might be the, um, their entry level. Uh, but in any case, uh, top rated with torque, uh, you can see here that this, this guy's pulling, or gal, this guy or gal's pulling a boat. So you can actually, uh, you can actually do stuff. There's some utility there. Ten-speed automatic trans transmission. So that tells me that, uh, you know, while you're driving, it's going to be pretty smooth, um, which is interesting. A truck with a ten-speed uh, transmission. That I, that's something that you typically would see in a, in a sports car. Um, they offer different uh, different packages. Uh, this one they have a. Uh, Trey Moore off-road package, uh, so uh, tuned suspension, and I mean, I mean, based on this picture, you can do some off-roading, uh, get muddy. Uh, some bigger tire wheels and tires. These actually look pretty good. Um, they look really aggressive. I like the the dark tones here. Uh, not bad. Go for it. And then here's a shot of the interior. So again, it's not, um, you know, it's not super awesome luxury it's more utility it's more about you know this truck is serving some sort of purpose um so they offer some different colors we'll get into that when we get into the build um it looks like they do offer some sort of terrain management system um trail control okay cool um uh four by four which is nice and you can uh, depending on, on what's needed, there's a little dial here, so pretty nice. Uh, electronic locking rear diff, which is um, definitely needed if you're going to be doing some off-roading and this kind of thing. And it seems like, it seems like with this type of marketing, they want you to go off-road and they want you to be able to do all of these things. So, I mean, I guess typically, I guess that that's what they... Uh, this is the kind of market or that that's what they they want you to do so photo gallery but we'll get into um, we'll get more into that during this build uh, and here they touch on some of the different uh, packages and we'll touch you know again when we're as we're going through the build um, we'll get a chance to see uh, what a lot of this stuff is so uh, here's another video uh, this is kind of cool so they offer Wi-Fi. Uh, apparently, if you want to go out into the forest somewhere and log in, you can do that. Um, there's uh, Connect and Control, which is okay. So this is some sort of thing where you uh, can access through the app. Uh, Ford Pass Rewards. All right. So basically, it's a rewards program. You spend X amount of money, and they give you stuff. And there's just a bunch of other things here. Uh, we'll skip that for now. So Ford Copilot technology. So this is where we talk about 
uh, and a, a lot of vehicles are doing this now where safety features, so adaptive cruise control, uh, pre, pre collision assist, rear view cameras. So these are just some things that are standard and most, most new cars, uh, have these kinds of things. So they're just, that's just what they're highlighting here, which, you know, this is standard. Uh, again, they're just, uh, talking a little bit about their technology. Uh, but in any case, let, let's go ahead and get into the build. A uh, lot of stuff here to go through, uh, but we'll see what happens. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and, and build ours. And so for this build, let's go with Super Crew. And yes, we want 4x4. Four four. Um, as far as we'll do the... Uh, Lariat, which comes in at around 39. Alrighty, so this is where we are, and let's change up that paint. Okay, a lot of different uh, paint choices here. Um, for this build, I will go with the what they call cyber orange. I don't know, I don't know why it's a $600 markup, but that's what it is. Uh, you can tell me what you think about this color in the comment. Now we get into packaging. So uh, 501A is included. This has the technology, uh, so on and so forth. I don't think I'll be able to. Yeah, let's go ahead and skip that. All right, so there's a bed utility, black appearance. Uh, we did touch a little bit on the black appearance package uh, early on. Uh, they do offer chrome. I, I tend to like the black better. Okay, here's a little bit of the off-road stuff. Oh, they do have a sport appearance. Uh, here's uh, some of the trailing tow package. You can see it's 500 bucks. Um, uh, the Traymore off-road, we, we did touch on that a little bit. This is 4,000, okay. So now we're getting into some of the uh, technology. Okay, this is already included. So let's move on to uh, exterior. Um, there's already some running boards and I think, okay, we're not gonna go with that one. Uh, but they do offer bed liner, uh, engine block heater for those in, clo in cold climates. So I know typically, uh, you know, Folks maybe out of Arizona wouldn't go with wouldn't go with that, but hey, why not? Uh, looks like the uh, manual sliding uh, rear windows included. Anything, yeah, anything that we see green here, this is going to be included. So I mean, as I go through this, um, typically, you know, you probably wouldn't go with all of these options, but we don't have we have unlimited money. We want to see what they're offering, and so uh, I know this isn't practical, but. Uh, we just want to see what's being offered and, and what they have out there. Um, and at the end, we're going to find out uh, if any of this is worth it. So I'm going to have to skip some of these because it looks like there's nothing we can do here. Um, as far as the wheel types, I like what's currently on the vehicle. Um, if there's something that you see here, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Um, but it looks like if I do change anything, this one, this 18 inch machine wheel is gonna change the price. So I'm not gonna do that for now, uh, but we're gonna keep going. Oh, we're gonna have to change that too. Um, so different different kinds of tires here. Uh, let's see if we can change. Nope, we won't, we won't do that. And so basically that's it. That's That's all we can do. I think now we're uh, basically at the, the end of the road here. We've added everything. So now we're just left with the summary. And so we started with a base price of around $25,000 and a total cost to add every option available came out to around 51, which is a difference of $26,000. Uh, is this worth it? Uh, let's keep the conversation going. Go ahead and uh, LSS to the channel and thank you.